2007, I lost my mother, and um, that was difficult for me. I felt like it was the end of the world for me. My drinking increased. Wasn't taking my antidepressants. I was uh, my fiance at the time, uh, and uh, she helped me through it every step of the way. Shortly thereafter, I lost my fiance in 2012. She had cancer on her brain, and I thought I lost everything. When I first found myself without a home, it was hard for me. It was um, wandering, just wandering, not knowing what to do, not knowing when the next meal was going to come in at. It was cold. It was extremely cold. I rode the train up and down, just trying to stay warm. And uh, sometimes I even slept on a train. It was definitely painful. Sometimes I would feel like, uh, man, this is crazy. If I was locked up, at least I'll stay warm. I'll get three meals. My first time landing down here, it was truly a blessing. And um, yeah, it was spaghetti. You get a good night's nice sleep. I didn't have to worry about myself. Um, I didn't have to worry about my sneakers missing in the morning. It meant someone loved me. It meant someone cared. When I first decided to join the Harbor program, the best words you could have heard was, welcome to the Harbor. I would like to get my um, GED, get back to school, get a nice career, and maybe start a family down here. You know, get plugged into society. This new year, I mean, I'm, I'm going in sober, and I'm just going in with a good, happy attitude, despite of the death. And if my mom was here today, she would say, I knew my son can do it. You know, that's what I dreamed of. And I knew he could do better. And I'm proud to be his mother. <laughs>